Hey. Hey, he's ready? Yeah. Yep, I just sent I just sent it to him. I'm on the I'm on the call now. Bye. Hey, buddy, you're muted. Hang on one sec. How you doing, man? Hey, great. Can you hear me? Yeah, you betcha. You ready to go live? I'm gonna throw us up live. You bet. Do I sound okay? Do I look okay? <laughs> you look fabulous, brother. Great. Fuck, I love you, dude. I love me too, man. That was a good morning, huh? That was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing. All right, we are doing this. Yeah, I, man, I just can't even express to you what that was like. It, I mean, uh, I know you were there, but holy crap, man. It was, uh, <laughs> that's cool, man. It yeah, was, thanks for being there, man. I love that. Uh, yeah, you're the best. I would not miss that for the world, man. Ah, uh, that's great. Over there, man. It, uh, yeah, it was, it was just absolutely came together, unbelievable. I know. Uh, it really did. So we're we're uh, we're streaming live now. Perfect. So the whole world, the whole oh. world. Uh, I'm gonna just pull it up here on my phone so that there's no echo but comments uh, because I bet there's a few people that might want to say a thing or two to the yeah. thing that you're doing, man. Uh, it's uh, it, it's it's just absolutely incredible the uh, the impact that you're having. Well, thanks, man. Yeah, the uh, donations are just coming on in. It's really quite incredible. Yes, I know. Well, last last I heard was uh, you're up you're up about thirty five hundred bucks. No, really? Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, not bad, eh? That's not bad at all. That's a good haul for one day. That is a gotta, very good haul for one day. Gotta keep it going. Gotta keep it going. Yeah. So, do you want me to tell you about my day? Yeah. You know what? Let me just make sure we're. Live here. Yeah, you bet. You you tell me when. It, yeah, it says we're streaming. I just want to make sure. And I believe we are live, my friend. Hey, 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 all right. You bet. I'm getting a second or a third wind here right now. So. Yeah, I yeah. bet. I thought a hell of a day. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah I'll say. <laughs> Dude, yeah, boy. you uh, you went a little hot, hey? Eh? Oh yeah. Well, we, we you know we, we had to uh, we had to make that ferry. We had to make that ferry at eight o'clock, and we only got there about fifteen minutes beforehand. Is that so, right? I think we we're pushing five o twos, five o fives. Yeah, it was it was nuts, man. It was just yeah. nuts. Well, right now I'm running a five ten. So. Yeah, uh, and, and what did you tell me you wanted to race? Or to to run average? Well, the thing is, is we got really, really kind of pulled apart in a number of different spots. Let me, let me tell you about my day. Yeah, so please in the morning, do. I uh, wake up, nervous as all hell, because uh, I'm about to do this, and I know that standing on Fonio Beach is going to just be, you know, the most electrifying and terrifying experience of my life and you know what it totally was it was absolutely everything that i could have imagined you know something like that being a lot of film crews mike you were there um boy you know what a what an incredible energy way am i am i right am i, am I right mike oh man i i've been buzzing all day anybody that's ah, Anybody that's interacted with me today, uh, yeah. I mean, the WestJet attendants flying home, everybody I've run into contact with has heard about this day. It's, it's been yeah. just amazing. So I can't even imagine what that feels like for you. Absolutely. Yeah, you know what, and it's, it's, been, a, it's been a number of different emotions for me. You know, the first 33 kilometers went off without a hitch. It was perfect. 
perfect weather, rolling hills. You know, I'll be honest with you, I, I uh, had an event the day before, I tweaked my back and uh, really, really nervous. I was thinking, oh no, this is it. You know what, Mike? My back is great. That's 100%. It's feeling great. But you know what, today, can I, can I swear on your broadcast? That? Yeah, today, today was a big fuck up. Oh uh, yeah. We messed up a lot as yeah. a team. And uh, in fact, we um, we undercalculated my first day strong running car. I'm running long today. Oh. I still got another two and a half hours to run. And uh, that's why I'm starting to pick up the pace here because I'm thinking, you know what? We ended up getting off the ferry and TD Bank did a really big thing. So I took a bit of time and then you know, the energy picked up and we had some police escorts. But boy, you know, that, uh, that number 17 highway, yeah. that was a death trap. You know, it was, I was, I, I kissed myself a couple of times just thinking that this is how I'm going to die. Um, boy, the amount of transport trucks and how close, every, every single time they passed, they came right close up to us. And so, as we got into town, we, uh, my crew man Wayne said, "Hey Dave, you know what we got to do? We got to get you off this highway. This is how you're gonna die." And they drove us into, I think it was Delta and Surrey. Yep. And we get in there and we get lost and I'm trying to figure out where we are. And there was this woman named Christine who was uh, checking her live tracking, and she's like, "Hey Dave Proctor, I want to run with you." And that was the story of the day. I've had a number, way too many people. Not way too many, sorry. I loved every single bit of it. But I've had so many people come and run with me, and it's just been fantastic. Yeah. And so, we, uh, boy, she, uh, she saved her ass, but she, she guided us right to where we need to be. Well, from there, we got a lot of starting and stopping because we were going a lot safer road, but it was almost right through downtown. So every single time we got going, we had to stop. And boy, you know, that really, really bothered me. We got lost two more times. We got saved by another two runners, just magically appearing and saying, hey, I know where to go. Oh, no. And uh, so finally, we get across, uh, across the river, and now we're on Highway 7. And guess what? We miscalculated how far we needed to run today. So now I got to run further. And uh, I went through a little meltdown there. I, I, uh, I lost my shift. And I'm coming around. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to talk to you, Mike. Because uh, you're my bitch. And, uh, and uh, you know, it's, it's, it's some ugly shit when you're just losing your shit and you said you know what fuck like you know day one day one and i'm losing it you know the cool thing is my legs are fine yep uh because we got lost a few times that ate, ate away some time and so we are picking up the pace a bit i would like to drop it down to a six minute kilometer pace yep but we don't i don't have time for that and because you know what, guess what? We're trying to break the Trans-Canadian speed record. Yeah, you can't slow down. Yeah, I, f I feel like that's gonna take a little bit of work. Uh, you, yeah, I, I would say so. Yeah. So, so there's my story. I think I'm about 20 kilometers away from, uh, from, uh, from the aid station, from uh, where we're camping tonight. Uh, All together, I think it's gonna be 135 kilometer day. And um, I don't know. You know, it's been a it's been a day of ups and downs. You know. Yeah. So, but tell tell me about that video you watched this morning on the beach. Oh. Uh, and and I, yeah. I'm gonna try and keep my shit together because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my my wife made a video of my kids giving me uh, giving me advice, telling me to break the record. 
do it for their disease, do it for them. And, you know, I I broke down and cried like a baby, but it was like a, you know, Claire Danes when she does that ugly cry? Yeah. You know, like bottom lip is quivering and, you know, bottom chin comes in. And you're just, you're, you're, you're doing that thing, right? Yep. Oh, man. It was, uh, it was something else. And this was, you know, what, five minutes before we got going? Yeah. Unreal. Unreal. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it was It was just, a, it was a beautiful moment to watch. I, I, I got to tell you, I, um, yeah, you know what? But I, so, I got to ask you this. Have you followed Sam advice, done the most important thing so far, and not stepped on any rattlesnakes? Uh, I, you know what? I've already stepped on, on, on two or three rattlesnakes. No, <laughs> I have not stepped on a rattlesnake. No, I'm not. Uh, Safe time. I'm, I'm, I haven't been to rattlesnake territory yet, but as of now, I have not stepped on one rattlesnake. So, so here's my here's my view. Um, oh, look at the uh, size! Look at the size of that shoulder you got! Holy crap, man! Yeah, I got, it's a nice shoulder right now. Yeah. Now you can't really see, but off to the right here, you got the Fraser River. Yes. Yeah. It's over there. Yeah, you can't quite see that. We're heading to the roast right now. Um, yeah, so, yeah, tomorrow is going to be the Coca-Cola Highway. So I'm, uh, I don't know how I feel about that, you know? Well, good uh, thing you don't have to think about that till tomorrow. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let me, let me turn you around here. I'm not as good, uh, I'm not as good with this stuff as you are, Mike. Yeah, no, you're, you're dude. You're running 130 clicks and navigating a, a gimbal and a, and a phone and <laughs> a video conference. There's not many, not many people could run 135 clicks in a day, let alone operate a phone and a gimbal the way that you're doing it. So, uh, uh, you know, I'll tell you one thing, Mike. Nobody has a hat like mine. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, you can go and buy one. Yeah. Yeah, that's and that's uh, gives you superpowers. I've been told. Well, clearly. No. Oh, no, you know what? I, I've got one hell of a why. You know, I've uh, I definitely have definitely won in life, and uh, you know, Mike, I am not I'm not very good at a lot of things, but I, this is something I can do, and uh, I feel like I I've gotten to a place that I can do I can do it well, and I've also got a voice, and I like to talk, and so. If we can uh, spread the message and we can and we can get people talking about the need for rare disease research in this country and really kind of spur on the conversation, um, my people, you're know, watching me absolutely trash myself every single day. You know what? Bring it on, man. I'm game. I'm game to feel game. Absolutely. Well, I, I'm happy to broadcast your pain and suffering to the world. <laughs> yeah. As you say, I'm your bitch. I'm ready to go anytime. Perfect. I love it, man. I love it. So, how's, your, how's, your, how's your sinister training? <laughs> it's, you know what? I went to November Project this morning after I left you. Great. Yeah. I, I love it. I had beer and pizza with you at, uh, what, 5 o'clock in the morning? And then... Uh, yeah. And we went to November Project. And, Did you finish uh, my beer? Uh, yeah, we might have. Wayne and I might have shared it. Ah, uh, I told you to hold that. Ah, <laughs> uh, you, you guy. I, 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 hey, you, I, you owe me a beer, Mike. I will, I will buy you a beer in St. John. Perfect. I, Let's do I it. I promise you that. I promise uh, I you that. It. I love it, man. I love it. I will Sweet. buy you as many beers as you want in St. John. Uh -huh. So Mike, let's do this every day. I'll tell you one thing, I, I haven't smiled in the last three to four hours. I went through a bit of a, a shit show. And uh, this is lifting me up. And uh, all your audience members, uh, type in questions, comments. Um, you guys are gonna lift me up as well too. I think together we can do this. I think together we can, uh, we can outrun there, right? Yeah, there's no question, there's no question. And it takes dollars, so you guys, if you guys are enjoying this and are blown away, uh, go to OutrunRare.com donate now. But whether you can do two bucks, five bucks, uh, 
20 bucks, a thousand bucks, whatever you got, um, go do it. I had a great, uh, great conversation with the other Dave, Fox, the, the Rare Disease Foundation. Exactly that. And uh, ready to uh, put that money into good use and some research. Not with micro grants. We heard from, um, that was the other thing that was really cool. Um, uh, we heard from, I'm sorry, I forget her name, the, the lady with the, the child with rare disease. Oh, um, shoot. Uh, you got me at a bad Stacey, moment. Stacy was one of them. Uh, there was the other, I think it was Nicole was her name. I believe so, yeah. Um, they talked about how a small micro grant would have gone such a long way yeah. in aiding the the uh, diagnosis of, of their son. Uh, yeah. So much yeah. And, uh, blown me away is these little sort of hundred dollar grants here and there that make yeah. a big impact. Absolutely, the average micro grant is roughly five thousand dollars. When you think about that, you and your your, your friends could all get together and uh, change not only uh, the life of one family, but uh, the research and doctors' knowledge and families all around the world when it comes to you know the unknown unknown diseases out there, the, the mysteries, right? Yeah, and generations to come, right? So that's, Absolutely. So it's now, and it it just keeps going. Yeah, and my son Sam too. You know, like yeah. he's one of the, he's one of the many. And uh, just ended up getting off the phone with Sam the man. And uh, yeah, no, he uh, came home from school today. He did some cool stuff. Uh, Julia had her uh, her um, her talent show today. Yep. Adele had her uh, her French party. It was, great, it was great hearing from those people. Those kids are are my world. Uh, that is fantastic. Well, that's what's going to get you through the next six. Yeah, you're back. You're almost down one, right? Uh, almost down one. That yeah, is I can, fantastic. I think it's rib night tonight. Nice. Yeah, I know, so, right? Hey, just a, a list, logistics question for you. You said a bunch of people had sort of popped in and wanted to run with you. Yeah. If people want to do that, what what should they know from a safety perspective? That kind of thing. Great, great question. Um, be absolutely safe, as safe as possible. You know, you can't be safe enough. Um, you know, it's not, I understand everybody's got a different risk tolerance. Yeah, please understand, if we're starting to run double wide on the highway or whatever it is, you know, it is not you as a person that's going to take liability. It's, it's Outrun Rare and the Rare Disease Foundation. And one little little screw up will, will cost this run altogether. I would have to stop. The cops will be on us. Yep. Um, we just we just can't take that risk. And so, you know, please, please, please be ultra safe. I want everybody to be safe out there. But I also, uh, I know everybody's thinking, oh no, I can, I can run side by side on the highway. Please do not. Please, please, please. But please come out. Uh, we'll share five, ten, twenty kilometers a whole day, a uh, whole province, Joanna Ford, and. Uh, yeah, Jay here is running with me uh, all the way across, uh, where is it here? All the way across uh, into Kamloops. Up to Kamloops, yeah. Yeah, I had a great chat with Jerry too. I caught I caught some of his why on film. Hey, Jerry. Absolutely. Uh, there we go, I'm trying to figure that out there. There it is. Perfect. Yeah, cool. But hey, Mike, I better let you go. You betcha, buddy. I see an aid station coming up and, and uh, I'm getting thirsty and hungry. All right, love you, man. Keep up the love good work. You too, man. And, yeah, you uh, too. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Talk to you tomorrow. Look forward to it. All right, buddy. Cheers, man. Bye. Cheers.